Dear students, let, let us discuss some of the topics of current affairs as on March 27, 2021. Prime Minister Modi in Dhaka, capital of Bangladesh. Prime Minister Narendra Modi participated in the 50th National Day celebration in Dhaka as the guest of honor along with Bangladesh President Abdul Hamid and Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina. PM said, both India and Bangladesh must remain vigilant and united to counter threats like terrorism. Further, PM said contemporary Bangladesh was created with the blood of freedom-loving people and of the Indian soldiers who were martyred in the War of Liberation of 1971. PM also handed over Gandhi Peace Prize for Mujibur Rahman. The Supreme Court backs Tata Sons and sets aside NCLAT order on Cyrus Mystery. The Supreme Court ruled completely in the favor of multi billion SAR2 software company conglomerate Tata Sons Private Limited. By setting aside a National Company Law Appellate Tribunal NCLAT decision to reinstate minority stakeholder Shapurji Palanji Group Suskain Cyrus Mystery as its executive chairman. GSW Steel completes buyout of Pushan Power and Steel. JSW Steel paid Bs 19,350 crore to the financial creditors of Pushan Power and Steel Limited towards implementation of the resolution plan for acquiring the company. Anisha to help Mahindra and Mahindra as MD and Chief Executive of Officer Anisha, who is presently Deputy MD and Group CFO, Chief Financial Officer of Mahindra and Mahindra Limited, will take over as MD and CEO effective April 2, 2021, the board announced. The present CEO, Pawan Goenka, will retire as MD and CEO on April 2nd. And Rajesh Jajurikar, Executive Director, would take complete charge of the automobile and farm equipment sectors. From Addis uh, Ababa, the capital of Ethiopia, the news is Eritrea will pull out troops from Tigray, Ethiopian Prime Minister said. Eritrea will pull its troops out of the Ethiopia's, Ethiopia's northern Tigray region uh, shown by a red portion which is in, uh, along the board, border with Eritrea and this is the Smara is the capital of Eritrea and this yellow green is the Ethiopia and from from this conflict region the Eritrea will pull its troops back to Eritrea, as said by Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed. A potential breakthrough in a drawn out conflict that has seen atrocities carried out against civilians, including mass killings and rapes. Mr. Abiy is winner of the 2019 Nobel Peace Prize. You can see the picture uh, of Mr. Abiy. For months, both Addis Ababa, the capital of Ethiopia, and Asmara, the capital of Eritrea, denied their governments denied Eritrean troops were in Tigray region, contradicting counts from residents, air, aid workers, diplomats, and even some Ethiopian civilians and military officials. The news from Swiss Egypt races to dislodge giant vessel blocking Swiss Canal. A satellite image shows the standard container ship MV Evergiven, which is run by Evergreen Marine Corp and is owned by a Japanese firm. 
it is stuck in the Suez Canal as is shown by a satellite image in the pic. Around 10% of the world trade flows through canal, the canal, Suez Canal. The canal provides the shortest sea link between Asia and Europe and accounts for the passage of around 30% of global container shipping volumes. So, and this ship is stuck about 6 km north of the southern entrance near the city of Suez. At least 237 ships were waiting for the ever given to be cleared by the tugboats and specialized suction dredger and this blockade may cost global trade 6 billion to 10 billion in a week. Global shipments now have to be rerouted via the Cape of Good Hope, Africa's southernmost tip and then to Europe. This route will, would increase the travel time by approximately two weeks. The Suez Canal extends 120 miles, 193 kilometer between the Port Said in the north and Suez in the south. With the dredged approach channels north of Port Said into the Mediterranean and south of the Suez. The canal does not take the shortest route across the isthmus, which is only 75 miles. The Shooting World Cup, which is going on at Karni Singh Range, New Delhi, then India adds to two gold, silver for Vijayvir. India won two golds, gold medals in the mixed rifle three position. It was through Sanjeev Rajput and Tejaswini Savant. The, we are showing the images of uh, photos of Sanjeev Rajput and Tejaswini Savant. Now India is at the top of the medal table with 12 gold, 7 silver and 6 bronze. World Junior Champion Vijay Veer Sidhu from Chandigarh claimed silver as he missed the rapid fire pistol gold in the shoot off to Peter Olesk of Estonia. Thanks, my dear friends.